what has God given us to direct us how we should glorify and enjoy him? Well, according to the Westminster Catechism, God has given us the word of God. That is his word, which is contained in the scriptures of the Old and the New Testaments. And it is the only rule to direct us how we may glorify and enjoy him. So what do the scriptures principally teach? Well, the answer is the scriptures principally teach what man is to believe concerning God and what duty God requires of mankind. So if man was made to glorify and enjoy God, then we should eagerly ask how we should accomplish this astounding purpose. So without God providing us this direction, our hearts would remain empty and unsatisfied. But thankfully, the answer is not obscure or vague. It is not hidden. It is not written in code in the stars or understandable or discernible only to wise people. God very kindly reveals himself to us and shows us how to seek his glory and enjoyment in his word. We need his direction and he gives it to us freely. As we read in the Psalm 119 verse 105, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Secondly, the beautiful world around us, uh, while it does not direct us specifically how we may glorify and enjoy him, but as wondrous as it is that God made man in his own image, gave us consciences and put a longing for eternity in it, in our hearts, as we read in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11, even this general revelation of creation gives insufficient direction on how to glorify and enjoy God. So this is what makes special revelation necessary to us. And the special revelation of God is in his scriptures, uh, specifically the Old and the New Testaments in, in the Bible, and also through Jesus Christ. God has revealed himself to us through Jesus Christ.